Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'll be bringing you another shooting drill video, and the name of this drill is the 7-100 drill. So you can shoot this drill pretty much on any type of silhouette target that you like, but I do like to shoot it on a USPSA target, which is what I'll be using today. You'll start the drill back at the 100 yard line. On the sound of the shot timer, you will drop to a prone position and fire one round to the center mass of the target. You'll then run to 75 yards, take a knee, fire one round to the center mass of the target, run to 50 yards, take a knee once again, fire one round to the center mass of the target, run to 25 yards in a standing position, fire one round to the center mass of the target, then you will run to seven yards, standing once again, and fire one round to the head of the target. After that, you'll turn around, run all the way back to 100 yards, and repeat the drill nine more times. So a total of 10 times, no breaks in between, uh, the part time for this drill, if you're wearing a plate carrier or chest rig or something like that, is going to be 22 minutes or less. If you're running it slick with just a rifle and maybe mag stuck in your pocket, the part time is going to be 20 minutes or less. As far as the accuracy standard, you can have no more than five shots that are out of the A zone of the body or the head. And even if they are out of the A zone, they still have to be in the silhouette of the target. So if you have anything that is completely off target, it's a complete fail. And if you have more than five shots out of the A-zones, that's also a fail. So definitely a tough drill, has a very good accuracy standard and a good time standard as well. Working a lot of different things. It's working your ability to maintain marksmanship even when you are winded. Uh, it's helping you test your kit, test your gear, and most importantly, test yourself. Also, it's making sure that you stay aware of what you're doing at all times. And what I mean by that is, when you get to that seven yard line, if you do not remember your hide over bore, you'll quickly begin to miss the A-zone of that head. It's also going to really be critical that you're constantly working that safety. Every time you drop that rifle to start sprinting, that safety needs to be engaged. With all that said, I'm going to hang my target up, head back to 100 yards, and give this drill a run. It's in the low 90s today with about 95% humidity, so this should be fun. This is number seven, but hey, who's counting? If I count it correctly, this will be number ten. Time, time, time. Well, as you can see, I was able to keep all rounds on the target. I got 40 rounds in the main A zone here and 10 rounds in the head. So I put all 50 rounds exactly where I wanted them. So the main goal going forward, since I kept the accuracy 100%, is to drive that time lower and lower and do this drill even faster. So I really wanna focus and keep the accuracy exactly like you see here, but push that time lower and lower. I absolutely love this drill. It's definitely a good way to test your marksmanship when you are very winded. Uh, it's also a good way to test different kinds of kit to make sure that your gear is actually working to help you and your gear is not working against you, working around your sling, plate carrier, whatever you might be wearing. It's definitely a good drill for that. And it also has a decent amount of cardio, which I, for one, know that I need. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and found the information helpful. If you go out and give this drill a run, let me know the times. I'd love to hear them. Um, if you'd like to contact me directly for any reason, Instagram is the best place to do so. Also, if you're not following me over there, I would appreciate that as well. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.